okay. <laughs> About a year has passed. Time to check the last time I played the game. <laughs> August 28th, 2018. As I am doing this right now, it is August 27th, 2019. Oh man, this is what college semesters and a real job does to you, ladies and gentlemen. But here I am now, finally getting off my high horse and actually doing something with this. So, after I said what lies beyond ahead, I just stood here for about a year, doing nothing about it. And now it's time to go on Metal Gear. Zale, you okay? Yeah. I'll go ahead and secure the area. Take care of Callista. Got it. Don't fall in and get pneumonia. No worries, Colonel. I won't get any of that pneumonia. But this is Metal Gear Last Story. This is solid Zale. Do you hear me? They're about to fire the cannons right on me. Oh boy. Yoink. Right to the right here, there should be... There we go, a treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. And we got... A magic dagger. Now look at that, we need a magic dagger. I already have like a couple of these to use, so... Eh. Hmm. What is this? He doesn't know I'm here. That's my chance. Oh boy, time to go. Shinobi! Haha! <laughs> Ooh, wizard slayer arrows. Could always use more of those. Thanks, Gov. You saved my bacon. But I'm bleeding badly. Hold on. I'll go and get help. And that help is right behind this door. Dagron! All clear! Good job. This man is injured. Wait a second. There's still loads of us trapped here. Please, Gov, you've got to save us. Oh, yeah. Some of them are wearing dandy clobber like you lot. He must mean Marania and Yuri. That sounds pretty likely. Don't you worry. We'll rescue everyone. So thanks, Gov. You know, I'm a Lazarus Islander through and through. I can't believe they'd shoot at us with the cannon. Relax. It'll all be okay soon. He's also our upgrade shop on the high seas. At least for the current moment. Got a blunt copper sword in here. Should probably just sell that. Also just a regular old blade. Yeah, that goes too. And unfortunately, my gnome copper is not as high, and I don't really have any other materials to upgrade anything. All these daggers are already maxed out and I don't have a pirate ring nor a salamander bone. So I can't really do anything for the time being. I know I can upgrade one piece of equipment, but that's just one piece of equipment. Someone's out there. There. Perfect. His back is totally exposed. Oh boy. You know what that means. Time to make him clip to the floor. Even though that's supposed to be him falling off the ocean. Uh, he's supposed to fall into the ocean there. Game, why, why do you do this to me? He was supposed to fall into the ocean. He's supposed to fall into the ocean, man. Why you do this? How could you do this to me, game? I thought we were pals. Okay. <laughs> just could you just imagine if Zale could fall down that thing? It's just an expressway to the bottom. It'd be another comical moment. Just get the goofy wait, yell out again. Nobody's here. Uh, and Calista, wait. She's pretty suicidal for an hour. And she's gone. 
Sounds like the Argonan fleet has come to finish the job. And now she's standing up. Gotta love RPG logic. Oh, he left behind something. Brave Greeks. It'll get messy if he falls for backup. Let's oh. lure him over here on his own. If I could have grabbed them anyway. We can't defeat them all at once. Let's deal with this one first. So what you do is you just slash at them after doing this. You know, that would have been pretty bad. Alright, shoot at the head. <sighs> you know, slashing usually works a bit better than that. Oh, grew a whole two levels there. And get some money. You know, but seriously, it works so much nicer than that sometimes. I don't know what the hell just happened there. They don't know we're here. Let me use my magic. Wait. Don't rush, Callista. But we have to rescue everyone. If we don't hurry, they might get hurt. I admire your spirit, but if we alert them, they'll just kill everyone. Zael, use your crossbow to lure him over so he can't call for help. Okay. Now I'll see this'll work out. Hey, look at that. Okay. Okay. That didn't work out too much. Ooh, a chest. Gladiator plus one. Not really a sword I'll use, but eh, what the heck. And just a useless hiding spot. Anything else here? No? Okay. Guess time to take the left. One rickety old door. It's empty. Dagger, what now? Let me think. Wait, there's a ladder. Zale, what is with the almost falling tonight? I swear. This should lead us straight to the ship's hold. Great. I'll bring up the rear. Callista, are you okay? It's dark, so be careful. This is easy. No problem at all. I've explored every nook and cranny of that labyrinth of a castle. So, even in the dark... Callista! right to the bottom, so the ship's hold, I guess. Hey, Callista, try not to be so reckless. You have to take care of yourself. Really? And what's the point in that? I get to marry someone I despise and then grow old trapped in that castle. Lucky me. Callista. You showed me these the other night. Take them. You can have them. But your father gave these to you. I want you to hold on to them. Until... the day we can watch another meteor shower together. But... I'll be honest with you. There was a time when I felt like I was better off dead. But look, I'm still here today, and I got to meet you. Zale. Honestly, the other night I had an amazing time. I forgot about all my worries and sadness. And I realized life is worth living for moments like that. You're right, 
It was like a dream, wasn't it? One day, we'll get another chance to go there together. So, I want you to keep them until the day we look up at the stars again. All right. Thank you, Zael. So, where did Gagrin end up? Did he just decide to climb the ladder slower or something? That it? Just, you know, we're just left here? But at least I get a sweet moment. Okay. Gotta keep moving. Do you remember when I told you my dream is to travel the world? Yep. If we hijack this ship, we could really do it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> a seafaring adventure. Sounds like a different kind of RPG at that point. A guard. Must mean someone's in there. Uh. Eric. He's alright. Oh, come on! Enough with the near deaths already. Which key is it? Why the hell am I supposed to know? It's not this one. Please, just hurry up and open it. Oh, come on! It? Whatever. Great! It opened. You took your time. Still, thanks for rescuing me. Mirania was taken to another cell. Let's hurry up and free her. I'm glad you're here. But how come Lisa's with you? Yeah. Um, we bumped into her when we boarded this ship. I see. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Now, something I actually learned in the past while. Turns out that... Yurik's VA is Colin Ryan, who many Final Fantasy XIV players will recognize as Alfino Leveilleux. Hey, it's locked. To think that one of the characters, like one of the biggest characters in Final Fantasy XIV, was actually Yurik from the last story. I had no idea until a couple weeks ago. Honestly, I was astonished, and now I kind of can't unhear it to a degree. It's it's like these VAs, like when it comes to VAs, like from Xenoblade and from pretty much like anything really. It's I don't know. It's just the European Union seems to be a lot smaller and more contained. But hey, whatever. These VAs are pretty good, so I don't really I don't really care. It's still pretty good talent, so I'm I'm all for it. It's really flooded. I hate swimming. Zale, you handle this. Oh, how funny. I mean, considering the Alfino goes. Yeah! Yep. <laughs> oh, how funny. It's like it was meant to be. Oh. He's having fun. Verania! What am I saying? What are you doing? Uh, we came to rescue you. <clears throat> there, free at last. Let's go. Yeah, I was gonna have some mighty strength to be able to pull that underwater. Water aerobics ain't oh, no yes. joke. We were captured, you know. Oh, Yurik, it's nice to see you again. Uh, yeah, nice to see you too. But where's everyone else? Dagrin is here too, but we got separated. Oh, I saw you last night. You're Lisa. Y yes. That's right, Lisa. Let's find Dagrin. He's tough, but I don't fancy his chances all by himself. That's right. Also, I seem to be remarkably hungry. Well, gee, who's surprised there? Marania and her nearly endless stomach. It's like, how do you oh, even, Zale, woman? I picked up a key here. Do you suppose it might open the door? Oh, how convenient! That 
That's how you know something's gonna happen. What's that? I don't think so! Ah, screw you, giant spiders. Oh boy. Yeah, spiders have some abnormally tough defense. It kind of makes them really annoying when they're looking at the specific way of dealing with them. Oh, hey, Dagger. Sorry to keep you waiting. Dagger, you're alive! Of course I'm alive. Hey, Yurik and Marania. Zale, good job. Alright, back to business. What's the plan? I'm guessing we're a fair way away from Ravalis Island now. We hijacked that thing. On the upper decks, they have quite a few humans working as slaves. If we set them free, it'll create a huge mess in the rack. We should seize control in They must have some food somewhere. Alright, your group's alumni, and even learn the magic spell reverse. So there's enemy heal circles and a friendly damage circles, and other enemy magic circles and a friendly heal circles. Believe you me, this game will have you using that quite a bit of times in some odd places. Well, not really odd, but more just like at times where you really wish Yurik could be on the offensive, but instead he has to be on the support side to use reverse. Believe me, it's a good thing it exists. And wait a minute, just. He did climb the ladder slower. Wow, Zagarin. Just wow, man. Come on. Couldn't have caught up. It. <laughs> it's the anime world. I'm pretty sure he could take a fall. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's, it's written that way, I guess. It's not the main protagonist, so maybe he just has less immunities. Get it? Shot. Let's see. See the guard. See the guard. I'm lead him over. Yeah. And he spotted me. Okay. I'll be taking that. Ooh, four level ups. Level fifteen. Level thirteen. Level twelve. And level thirteen again. No new abilities. How you doing, mate? But first, let me get this treasure chest. Can't resist the treasure. Leather Greaves, plus one. Thank you for saving me. You lot are proper hard. Here, something to say thanks. Hmm, some Garak dust. Oh, we sent this item. Alright, let's keep on going. Could just break the bars down for effect now. Okay. Zale, wait. There's one in front, and loads behind. They've not seen us yet, though. Okay, so a healer and a fighter up there. But again, there's that fighter here who hasn't even seen us yet, so gives us a bit of advantage in terms of stealth. Okay, let's see. Nope. There we go. Eliminates one from the equation. Okay, so always take out the leader as soon as possible because they can strengthen other enemies. Because you see, I got spotted like an idiot. Either that or that's scripted that way, but whatever. Point is, let's just kick some Garak ass. Ooh, fire circle. <laughs> Alright. That's really good some ass now. Give me that money first. Hey, I'm the tank. Aggro's on me, fools. I actually main a tank at 14, which is not quite funny. So it's just like, it's like it's meant to be after all. And now he's dead. 
Right, now the daggers are level 15, and you learn full guard, which increases his defensive power and draws the attention of enemies. So basically making him my off tank. Yurik is now level 13, and Morania is now level 14. Huh, 14. My money! Huh. Is that it? Thank you so much! Yeah! We're free! Looks like we're not out of the woods yet. Zale, time to focus. Here they come. I'm ready for them. These guys look pretty tough, and those archers over there have special arrows. Paralysis arrows, and there's a sorcerer that knows flare, so they could probably break our guard too. <sighs> All right. Come on, lads. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Best to handle those guys first. They have ranged attacks, meaning that they can easily, easily dispatch of a guy quicker. Just take care of them like so. Especially them with the paralysis arrows. You can't use them if they're dead. Get over there. Yeah, give me my rewards. Alright. Time to move on to the rest. Volcanic rock. Adult. And battle's over. <laughs> Can't really go along with what you're doing. Anything. Come on, there we go. So sometimes the AI can get in your way too much, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Ooh, rare item! I'll take everything. This ship isn't going anywhere with no oarsmen. Yeah. Now we just take out the captain. Do you think it'll be that easy? We'll see soon enough. First, we take this lift to the deck. Then we assault the captain's cabin directly. Got it? Right. Let's go. They have an ogre. What a pain. Draw it in and finish it. Ogres have layers. Yeah! Ow. I <laughs> said to finish it. <laughs> Wait, did the flipping its attack back and it just do that? Ooh, overhead. Okay, that's a thing. My goodness, it's just what is becoming of it? Let me see that ogre hammer, actually. There we go. Hmm, the attack is slightly better, but the magic attack goes down. Granted, Zill doesn't really use magic attacks. Hmm, but the no attributes thing is kind of eh. I mean, I know it's only a five percent chance of instant death, but I, my odds, I kind of, I kind of like my odds. You never know; that five percent chance could easily save my ass. Oh, what's up here? If up here is supposed to be the right way, no, it's just yes, a summoning circle. Oh boy, grinding. Yes. Well, I know what I'm doing for the next couple minutes. And while grinding already, Zales leveled up to 16 and learned Gathering Burst, where you build up energy when you take damage, and then you can use it on the enemies by pressing C again. You're grew to level 14, and Marania grew to level 15. So as we can see here, I just activate Gathering, as we already know. And every time he takes damage, his power will increase. And you can see it by the, the rings right around Zale. You press C again, and then you can actually damage enemies and even inflict certain status effects. It's actually pretty cool to use when you have enough to get the hang of it. I like it. I like it a lot, actually.
Alrighty then, that's enough grinding for now. Got everyone up to level 18 before the experience gap started becoming quite higher. Right, so now everyone's a bit stronger. Let's head in through the door. It's too quiet. And it's wet. Too wet. Another upgrader. Still no bone, but at least I can upgrade, like, Seren's weapons for whenever she comes back. And, ooh, let's see. No silk bowstring for the crossbow, unfortunately. But let's see. Nope, no gnome copper throughout that whole entire thing. So, screw that. Hmm. Nah. It's behind door number one. It won't open. Well then. Alright, fine. I guess door number two will suffice. Okay, and ooh, save point. Ooh, turn it just. Ooh, I'm a save first. Because I really did a lot of grinding. <laughs> I think most of this session now is just grinding. Oh man. Alright. Yep. Although, unfortunately, the Wii's clock is a couple of minutes ahead, so. <laughs> Ooh, a para axe. Actually, now I'm curious about that. <laughs> Keep getting curious about all these new weapons. Battle axe, craft it, craft the armor, and look at that. Let's see, 297 and 307. Still not a bad jump. Okay, let's see what the upgrade material is. Just out of plain old curiosity's sake, at this point. Let's see, no necessary item. Oh wait, let's see. Overcomes ogre's defenses, but that's at plus three though. Let's see how far we can go. Can go pretty far until we need a salamander bone. How about for the ogre hammer? Oh, and I can really overcome ogre's defenses. And I need an ogre nail so I can go any further than that. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, upgrade it higher, but just take away the magic attack and to become the lightning axe. I will agree though that like, okay, so the killing edge, right? It's called no killer cutter. I'm thinking fire emblem now in the brain. Three houses came out recently, and yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> but now the para axe goes from that to that amount. Okay, you know what? I think now it's worth switching weapons. Look at that attack jump. That's quite a bit. Look at look at this axe. Oh my god. Just just look at this axe. Oh man. Look at this axe. Okay, you know, I am perfectly fine with what I got just now. I'm good. Nope, no, 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 no. Nope, stop. Stop. <laughs> Ugh. I'll go to the other safe options for now. Yeah, I'm not. Anything here? All right, time to open the door. Looks like this is the place. Let's hope he's in. Always with the kicking. <laughs> he just loves kicking things down, doesn't he? I heard a lot of hullabaloo outside. I suppose you're the ones responsible. So, you're the big boss, right? That's Captain to you, landlubber. Whatever. There's no one else left. Surrender and we won't harm you. You got spirit for a wee lad. I yeeted off his own shit. Alright, so now it's time for the fight with the Marook. 
This thing's a jerk. It has really high defense. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that Yurik gets his ass to cast a Flare Turtle as soon as possible so that you can break this thing's defenses. So defuse the circle and break his armor. So you can finally do some more damage. And be sure to also defuse Holy Turtles as well because he can also paralyze you with those things. Attack! <laughs> Alright, get to use more holes in the flare circles. And there we go. That's what you keep it shooting them around. That's all you gotta do is look at this freaking overthrown turtle. Dabby dabby! And there we go. That time was actually my smoothest run of the Maruk in all my playthroughs. Not gonna lie. I'm honestly surprised it went that smooth and I got a para X anyway. Are you kidding me? Fate's cruel sometimes. And so Zale and the others commandeered the Gurak ship as planned. The cries of pain became cries of joy as the humans on board celebrated their freedom. And a new dawn approached. I guess now we can finally get back to Lazarus. I expect Seren and Lowell are so worried about you. Actually, I was thinking of trying to pursue the rest of the Garak fleet. What? I'm not out to kill them all or pick a fight, but if we could just find their base of operations, that'd really impress the Count. Well, at least we surprise them. But seriously, I have to say, it's one ship against a fleet. No, Dagrin's right. We can't miss this chance. I, I, excuse me. Would you mind if I accompanied you? Huh? I want to help. Please. I promise I won't do anything stupid. Dagrin, I think we should let her come. Absolutely. It would be too cruel to force the two of them to say goodbye after all this. That's not what I meant. It's fine by me. Seren and Lowell aren't here, so we need all the help we can get. Uh, all right, Zael. As long as you swear to keep us safe. <laughs> then I can. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure, Lisa. <laughs> The breeze is strong out here. Aren't you cold? No, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm sorry for causing you trouble back there. I guess this means you really don't want to go back to the castle. I suppose. I'd be lying if I said I don't feel that way, at least a little. But it's more than that. What do you mean? Just being with you, Zael. It makes me feel like I'm really alive. to stay out here a little longer. The breeze feels so good. Just don't stay out here too long, okay? We'll catch a cold. I won't. Thank you, Zale. 